everybody. I am having lunch down here at Liberty Station. Today is Tuesday. The planes are going to be flying over. It's going to be noisy constantly. My microphone cannot do anything about that. All right, so what do I want to show you? Liberty Station is a wonderful place that, you know what, if you just want to spend the day, uh, they have everything you need. Um, I don't even have to make lunch. Actually, this is enough food for two people. And uh, yeah, it's enough food for two people, $6. I brought my uh, Sprite Zero from home. Nobody ever has anything caffeine free or sugar free. So I get these at the VA for $2. Well, Mr. Louie bought it for me. Let's be honest, right? So Liberty Station has so much to do. Lots of walking around and everything. But uh, go ahead, get your lunch. I'll wait. I'll wait. You got something good? All right, so it came with two different types of uh, dressings on top. Uh, they had like five or six different types. I chose the cilantro lime and the set chipotle. Yeah. Looking good there. Now, of course, since I love Mexican food, why would they put chipotle on? But I asked him for a recommendation. He said, go with the chipotle. It actually does look like a taco, but it's a chicken shawarma taco. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, with the cotija cheese. Excellent. So I don't even know what shawarma means. All right, so it, and they uh, cook it themselves. It's double wrapped with the taco. So I'm gonna eat a little bit of the, uh, it's probably a falafel uh, shell or something like that. I don't know, but let's see, is it any good? That's the whole point. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, I love the cotija cheese. A little bit, uh, one too many uh, Bermuda onions. Bermuda onions are the purple ones. Let's try it again. Mmm. All right, it's excellent for $3, it really is. Truthfully, I could have had a $3 lunch. I didn't know if Mr. Louis, Mr. Louis had an appointment down here. So uh, I didn't know if he'd eaten yet. I'll check the time and I might save him the other uh, taco. For $3, it was the perfect price. Look at all that meat and everything in there. I, I can't believe it, I lucked out. Mm, it's delicious. So, how's your day going? Tell me, what, what are you doing today? Put it in the comments below. Got a little sauce there. That's the only thing I don't like about Liberty Station. Everything else I love, there's so much to do. A couple of art museums, uh, a lot of them are free. Uh, art galleries, the Watercolor Society, uh, the Weavers Guild, they're all open to the public and free. There is, if you want something even cheaper than this, there is a Trader Joe's, I don't think you can get cheaper than this. And it's prepared food for $3. Uh, there's a Vons, there's a Trader Joe's, uh, lots of art galleries. There's so much to do here. There's a miniature golf course. Of course, there's lots of drinking. The Corvette Diner, which is a 1950s diner. It's pretty cool. Mmm. This is filling the bill, isn't it? And they were, they didn't mind I got $3 tacos. Mmm. I don't know what shawarma means. I think shawarma is the seasonings that they use, but uh, it's pretty good. All right, incoming, incoming. Here comes another airplane. I'm telling you, I love uh, San Diego. Now, Louie and I were going up to San Francisco, and let me give you a little comparison. I've been to San Francisco once. I didn't like it, why? Because like Liberty Station, I can just pull in, park the car, there's so much parking and everything. Now, of course on peak hours, like on a Saturday, it's gonna be uh, jam packed, but there's places, if you just wanna lie on the grass and read a book, you can do that. Um, there's so many, uh, 
Was I comparing San Francisco to San Diego? I was. So many things to do, there really is. And like I said, we have the parking. Uh, I'm a little leery on my trip to uh, San Francisco. Hey guys, have you been to San Francisco? They hate it when you call it Frisco or San Fran. So we'll, we'll be formal about it. We'll call it San Francisco. Mm. This is really good. I'm always happy when I get a bargain, right? Mm -mm. One more bite. Mm, really good. So Liberty Station, you can walk around here during the winter. They have ice skating. Um, they have free concerts on the weekends. Uh, it, there are just so many things to do. This place is huge. Um, yeah, and I love San Diego, like I said, uh, because of all the parking. I, I'm sure I would love San Francisco. I would love to see the uh, uh, homes and everything out there. But uh, I, I get frustrated when I can't park my van. I really do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Did you put it in the comments below? What are you having for lunch? It's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm eating lunch a little late. So I'm going to save one for Louie. Hopefully we'll have dinner at 5. Here we go again. Another airplane. dinner is always at five o'clock yesterday I went and got my shots and uh, I'm always up 5 5 30 getting things done you know Louis wakes up sometimes 7 30 sometimes 9 o'clock he's on his own little time schedule so I really relish that time in the morning to get as much done why so I can pay attention to him well I got my shots yesterday and it's like I slept until 7 30 can you believe that that is not what a good stealth camper will do. Mm. Now, I've been putting a lot of thought into it. I know I'm inviting you out here to uh, San Diego, but also to Quartzsite. A lot of people are on the East Coast watching. Um, what it is, is we have really mild uh, winters. You gotta be at the right place. And we have really great summers at the right place. I mean, if you're in Milwaukee, you can't escape the summer heat. You are Philadelphia or Pennsylvania. I mean, you can go indoors to escape the summer heat, but here, it's like, if it's cold, I move. If it's warm, I move. I go everywhere, I move. And it's so easy and convenient to do. Here we go again. Time for a bite. something that tastes really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mr. Louie doesn't know what he's missing, does he? Now, down here, Mr. Louie will buy me anything I want. If something costs $17, he'll buy it, um, and he'll be happy about it. But uh, I love getting a bargain. Are you more of a bargain shopper? I am. I'm waiting for another plane to go overhead so I can finish my uh, last couple of bites. Hmm. So, you know, doing what I do, you know, being in a van, 
there, it, it can be so inexpensive. You know, today I'm probably going to spend three dollars, and then gasoline. Well, the other day I did pay for a synthetic oil change and a brake job for about three hundred dollars. All right, here we go. Here we go. about doing to the channel. I love Mr. Louie and uh, you know I'm gonna keep doing my traveling you know I got everything arranged but when I'm here uh, we're gonna do a lot of day trips day camping uh, show you stealth camping spots show you how to do San Diego on a budget that's what I love doing things on a budget um, so if you do come out here you know you'll be more familiar with it mm. I hope you're enjoying your lunch like I am. This is so good. Mm. But yeah, San Diego is a great, wonderful city. All right, here we go, here we go, here it comes. out so it's great for a uh, camping you know and uh, it's gonna get hot maybe it'll be 75 degrees today and this is the middle of summer uh, winter it's almost like that winter it might get up to 70 degrees so I absolutely love it here a million things to do um, living here is not cheap trust me I think this is the third most expensive uh, city in the United States but uh, when we come back I, we're getting the quick pass whatever it's called so we can jump down to Mexico and come back because we have Tijuana right and I'd love to see the sights down there would you like to see the sights down there so uh, the quick pass helps you get in and out of the country really quickly come on one more airplane I want to finish my last bite but uh, yeah we're gonna be doing a lot of day trips out here I can't wait Anyhow, I hope you had a nice lunch with us, and I will see you down the road. Bye, everyone.